Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I plan to share with you my Sephora sale wish list. As you guys may or may not know, the Sephora sale that comes along in the spring is coming up very shortly. If you are a Rouge member, you can save 20%. If you're a VIB, 15%. If you're a Beauty Insider, you can save 10%. This is a great time to either stock up on items you need or if there's been something that's been on your wish list that might be a little pricey, for example, let's say there's something from Gucci or let's say there's a new fragrance, now is a great time to buy because you can save money and there aren't any exclusions. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you the items that are on my wish list. I think I have maybe about 10 items to share. Some makeup items, some fragrances, you name it. I wanted to share it with you guys. I have done a ton of recommendation videos in the past. To be honest, not a lot of those items have changed. So if you watch a recommendations from the past, not a lot of those items have changed because I don't really change up my makeup too much. So most of those items are my tried and true if you wanted to check that video out. But in today's video, these are the items that I plan on picking up today. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, make sure to stick around and let's get right into my Sephora wish list. Okay, so let's start with the first item. This is an item that is newer and it's something that as soon as I saw the packaging, it caught my eye. It is the Carolina Herrera Good Girl Blush Eau de Parfum. Now, first off, this bottle, I mean, it is a pink shoe. I absolutely love it. It is so cute. So even if it didn't smell good, look at the packaging. It is so adorable. But I think this is going to be a nice fragrance as well. It's a floral fragrance, which typically I'm not a huge fan of florals, but it does have some key notes of mandarin, vanilla and it says it's a fresh floral explosion of femininity so i think that i'm gonna like this and i'm really really excited to try it out and again i just love the bottle and because i can save 20 percent now is a good time for me to pick it up i'm gonna kind of skip all over the place let's talk about a tried and true foundation dior forever foundation if you're someone that likes a matte finish the Dior Forever Foundation is so good. I have probably gone through 10 bottles. I'm not even kidding. It is my favorite foundation. Now, be mindful, you do have to like a matte finish, which I do. I always stock up. Whenever there's a sale, I'll stock up through Sephora, or I like to buy it. If, like, let's say I want to buy it from the Dior website, and there's, a, uh, there's like a free gift with purchase, I always buy the foundation. It is my favorite. But I would say it's medium to full coverage. It's definitely buildable. I am wearing it on my skin today. I just absolutely love it. It is a little pricey. It's I think it ranges, I think it's like around 54 bucks. So if you're a Rouge member, you can save $10, which is a huge saving. So I'm definitely picking that up. Okay, another favorite of mine that I have been out of, but I refuse to buy it until the sale is here. So I need the sale to hurry up and come. It is the Sunday Riley sleeping oil. It comes in a blue container and it has a little dropper and it goes on your skin blue and then it dissolves into your skin. It is so good. That is the one skincare item that I swear by. I absolutely love it. I'll wash my face every night, make sure all of my makeup is off, and then I apply that, and I swear, I, I think it's because it has retinol in it. The next day, my skin feels so soft, and I am getting older. I am 42, and I really do feel that the sleeping oil has helped minimize my wrinkles. Now, do I still have wrinkles? Yes, I have forehead lines, I have crow's feet, I have smile lines, all the good things. But I do feel like the sleeping oil has helped me because I've been using it pretty consistently for the past couple of years. So that's something I can't live without and it's definitely something I am picking up. Another item I am picking up is another blush. Now, I do currently have a House Labs blush in this beautiful apricot. It is called Pomelo Peach. I love this color. But initially when I was going to get that blush, I wanted to get the hot pink. But when I was in there, I was like, well, maybe I should get the peach color because it's a more wearable shade. I am wearing it on my cheeks today, but I am just in love with that hot pink color. I know it's a little much. It'll probably be better suited for 
deeper skin tones, but I feel like if you have a tan, that color will look so pretty. So that's definitely another blush I want to pick up. I actually really, really enjoy the House Labs blush, and you get quite a bit. So again, this one is the Pomelo Peach, and then the one I want is more of like a hot pink fuchsia. It, I think if you apply it with a light hand, it can really give you that nice flush of color. So that is another blush that I would love to add during the sale. Okay, let's talk about a lip liner. So I haven't purchased a new lip liner in quite some time, and let me see if I have it in my cart now, but I love Rare Beauty, and I know everybody else loves Rare Beauty, too. I think I actually have a couple things from Rare Beauty on here, but there is a lip liner. It is in the color Worthy, and it looks like it's almost like a mauve nude color. I think it would be a great everyday color. It's kind of the same shade as your lips, and this is $15. I mean, I love Rare Beauty products, but I feel like they're already priced well, and then during the sale, you can get a percentage off. Now, the problem is, will it be in stock? I went to Sephora the other day, and I don't know if it's because everything that was going on between Selena versus Haley, but I could not get near Rare Beauty, and all I wanted to do was take a look at their new lip oils, but I couldn't get near it. So it's definitely a popular brand and I know why because every product I've tried so far I've loved but I would love to get a lip lip liner from Rare Beauty. Okay, another item I would love to get is a dry shampoo by Living Proof. I love that dry shampoo. It is pricey, but it is so good. The only thing with it you have to be careful of, for me personally, because I do have brown in my hair as well, you can have a tendency to see the white cast a little bit from the dry shampoo, but as long as you spray it and then you really kind of work it in or brush it out, it will dissolve. But that one does such a good job of not only keeping your hair clean if it feels greasy, but also it gives you volume. And I like the smell of the Living Proof dry shampoo as well. I've tried other dry shampoos. Like I do like the Bedhead dry shampoo, but nothing compares to the Living Proof. I just really like that one, but because it is a little more of a splurge, I like to wait for the sale. So that's definitely something else I'm going to pick up. Okay, another item that I always love to pick up during the sale, and I'm, I'm, and this one is no different. I use beauty blenders so frequently, and sometimes, no matter how often you wash them, they can still get very gross and grungy, so it doesn't hurt to pick up a new one. And they have the Beauty Blender Main Squeeze Beauty Sponge and Cleanser Set. It comes with a pink beauty blender, an orange beauty blender, and a little cleanser, and that is $35, and then you could save $7. So it's basically like you're getting two beauty blenders and a cleanser for the price of one. So I definitely want to pick that up. You just dampen a beauty blender, and that's what I use to apply my foundation, and I feel like it doesn't pick up as much product as a brush, and I feel like it gives you that really nice seamless finish as well. So beauty blenders, you can't go wrong. I always love to pick one up. Okay, the next item I want to pick up, and I'm, I'm just not sure exactly which ones yet, but I do want to get some new makeup brushes, and I've heard a lot of people raving about the Sephora Pro brushes, which those will be on sale. Those will actually be 30% off. Um, there are also some hourglass brushes that I've had my eye on, so I'm not sure which brush yet I'm, I want to get, but I'll probably start by looking at the Sephora Pro. I want to actually go and store and see, maybe get a new bronzer brush. I just got a new brush recently from a Cosmetics. It is the number 110 airbrush buffing foundation, and I don't use it for foundation. I use it to put my powder on, and it just gives you like a really nice, smooth application when you apply powder. So I really have been liking this one, but I think I need a new bronzer brush. The one I've been using, it is really dirty, but it is the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill. You can see it's so dirty. I love this brush though. It applies bronzer so well, but it's definitely time for me to get a new one because no matter how much I clean it, it still is really dingy. So I'll probably maybe take a look at the bronzer brushes by the Sephora Pro Collection. Okay, another item, and this is going to kind of seem random, that is on my wish list is a new blow dryer. Blow dryers can be really expensive, but I have my eye on maybe a new T3 blow dryer. I obviously blow dry my hair quite a bit. I have long hair. I really need to invest in a good blow dryer. Like one of the blow dryers that's not going to dry my hair out. I think I mentioned 
but a couple times ago when I got my hair done, I got a little more blonde. And ever since I did that, it really, really fried my hair. So I'm really trying to do a better job of taking care of it. I mentioned on my Instagram story recently that I've really been enjoying the Pureology uh, shampoo, hydrating shampoo, and then purple conditioner. And then I also use a leave-in conditioner. I'm going to get the Living Proof dry shampoo, but then I want to get a good blow dryer where I'm going to make sure it's not going to fry my hair. So I'm looking into getting one of the T3 ones, but I'm not exactly sure which one yet, but that's just another item that's on my wish list. All right, another item that's on my wish list that I unfortunately don't think I'm going to be able to get because it's always sold out. I am in love with the Rare Beauty Highlighter. I have it on today. It basically makes your cheeks look wet. If you are into blinding highlight that goes on your skin very smoothly and looks beautiful, you will love this. Now, I was able to get the shade Mesmerize. It's kind of more of a rose gold, but there is one that is more of a champagne gold color. It's been sold out for weeks. I don't know if it's going to come back in stock. If it does come back in stock, I definitely want to get it because that's probably one of the most beautiful highlighters I've ever used. Like I said, I have it on both cheeks. I put it on the inner corner. It gives a nice pop. It's just so pretty, blends so smoothly. I like it so much that I want to get another color. So we'll see if it's available because if it is, I'm going to snag it up. Okay, I have three more items to share. The next item is another restock and it is mascara. I love, I mean love, the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. It is so good. Now granted, there are a lot of good mascaras out there. There are a lot of mascaras I've tried that I really enjoy. The Bad Gal Bang is a mascara I always go back to. It has that plastic wand. It really grips onto your lashes. So if you're looking for a mascara to really lengthen, you will love it. And that's typically... 28 or 29 dollars so you could save 20 percent, so i could save six bucks i usually stock up on this mascara it's so good because it doesn't last me very long it only really lasts me about a month so anytime i can stock up and get it for a good price i definitely like to do that so the mascara by bad gal bang the bad gal bang mascara is so good that's definitely on my wish list Okay, I have another fragrance that I want to mention, and this is another one that has a really pretty bottle, but I think I'm going to love the fragrance too. It is the Bliss Brooklyn Florist Auto Perfume. First off, the bottle is so pretty. It's like a vibrant pink. It has a white top, but the reason I think I'm going to like this, it says that it is the fresh fragrance family, fresh florals, but here are the keynotes. Tuberose petals, golden gardenia, and honeysuckle. Gardenia and honeysuckle. I mean, nectarine blossom and honey, Mediterranean honeysuckle, gardenia by Chanel. Those are some of my favorites. So if this fragrance has gardenia and honeysuckle, I feel like I'm really going to like it. Plus, the bottle is beautiful. I just oh, absolutely love that bottle. So now is a really good time to buy fragrances because obviously they are a little pricey. So that's where I plan on stocking up. Another item that I want to pick up is the Tarte Tint and Plump Juicy Lip Duo. These look so cool. I've seen so many people use them, but they look like they're a balm. But when people put them on their lips, their lips just look so juicy. I feel like this would be good to throw into your purse. It's going to make, if your lips are dry, it's just going to give them that juicy, wet look. And I've seen so many people use them, but they seem to always be sold out. And then there's a duo where two of them come together, so I would love to add that. And then there's one more thing I would like to add, and once again, it is by Rare Beauty. So I think I have three Rare Beauty items on my list. And it is the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in the shade Encourage. Encourage is more of a mauve tone, which I know is sh shocking to you. I'm just kidding. I love my mauve tones. I should branch out, but I definitely can't because that's just what I gravitate towards. But I've heard so many good things about the Rare Beauty blushes, but once again, they're always sold out. So hopefully I can save a little money and get that. They look like they just apply so beautifully and naturally and blend very well. So I'm kind of starting to dabble a little bit with more liquid blushes because since I am getting older, sometimes 
using less powder and more liquid can look better on your skin. Your skin just looks a little more fresh faced whereas if I put too much powder it can kind of seep into my wrinkles so it sometimes makes your skin look a lot better if you just use liquid. So I definitely want to try that if it's in stock because I've heard so many good things about it. But yeah guys I think that's a pretty hearty wish list. Will I add other things? Who knows? I go into Sephora sometimes. I can't control myself but like usual you better believe that if I pick anything up I will definitely do a haul and in case you guys are interested in anything I share that way I'll actually be able to physically show it to you but now I would love to know with the Sephora sale coming up what is on your wish list again check out my prior recommendation videos because there are a ton of products I recommend Bobbi Brown vitamin rich face base Gucci bronzer, Gucci blush, Dior foundation, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, like so many of these products, Rare Beauty, you know, Liquid Lip, I love those, like so many good products. Also, I've been using the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette, I've been using the Chrome Paint Pot, like these are things that you guys are familiar with if you've watched me for a long time because my makeup really doesn't change too much, but those are all things tried and true that I love, so check out my prior recommendation videos in case you're interested, but like usual everything I mentioned in today's video will be linked down below if you guys are new to my channel I would love to have you hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well have a wonderful day you guys and I'll see you in my next video